Behind the seven mountains, guarded by. Hey, is this thing on? Don't pretend you're not here. This is a TV show after all, and I'm the star, so you might as well show me to the audience. There we go, thank you. I'm way too pretty to be just a voice in the dark, especially when there's hidden cameras in all of Windenburg's six districts. Well, technically there are seven districts, but most people don't know about the seventh, and I'm not here to spoil anything for you, so forget what I just said. Anyway, where was I? Ah, right. Behind the seven mountains, guarded by the seven plus garden gnomes that were undoubtedly turned into such by my mistress, there's Forgotten Hollow, a district founded by the vampire Vladislaw Strahd hundreds of years ago. He was killed shortly thereafter, but one of his descendants still lives in that old mansion on the hill, and... Damn it, who am I kidding? I don't even care about Windenburg's history, no matter how interesting I try to make it sound. Why does my family want me to learn about it anyway? To turn me into some kind of exposition bitch for visitors? I'm going to ask them. Tomorrow. First I need my beauty rest, and there's no better place for that than my enormous pillow by the fireplace in the living room. Strike. No way, you cheated. You can't cheat at this game. One day you'll just have to accept that I'll beat you at pretty much every game that was ever invented. Does that include filling a bucket with your very own sweets and then forgetting it at school? Because you already beat me at that. None of you will ever beat me. What? Are you shitting me? My bed, it's gone. And for no reason at all. Who came up with this crappy plot twist? Oh hi bitch. I'm sorry, but we had to move your bed elsewhere. You get rid of my bed just like that, and all you have to say about it is that you're sorry? Let's see if you'll accept a lame apology like that the next time I mistake your bed for a loo. Really Tiamo? This is the best you can do. Oh well, you know what they say, unlucky at cards, lucky in love. I could almost believe that, if not for a certain underfucked old spinster who only wants you because the palm of your hand is less wrinkly than her face, and you consider her your favorite bitch. No offense bitch. None taken. At least not at that. Charmaine is clearly not underfucked anymore now that she has me. Well, I guess I should be glad they didn't move my bed to the basement. First they prohibit me from eating humans, now this makes me feel unwanted. I remember a time when that was different. And yes, that means another flashback, even if you're sick of them by now. My origin story deserves to be told too. That's literally the worst thing you could have done right now. Why are you complaining then, if it helps you win? Because you're making this game as much fun as playing I spy with my little eye against a blind person. Guys it's just a game. There's nothing to get upset about as long as I keep winning. Just like now, strike. Fuck. More importantly, where is that package we ordered? It's long overdue. And whose fault is that? If you hadn't insisted on not ordering from Witch Bay, it would have been here a week ago. It was vampires who came up with the idea in the first place, so I figured Vampazone would have better quality products. But it was witches who made a version for pet familiars, and Witch Bay still has the fastest delivery service thanks to brooms and portals. You thought they were based in the magic realm, where the ageless sage is, that's why you didn't want to give it a try. Stop arguing. It should be here by now, no matter where we ordered it from. I'll talk to my contact at Vampazon, and then we'll figure something out. Ouch. Do you still think it was a good idea to become a vampire? Because vampires are supposed to be scary, not unintentionally funny. And little sisters are supposed to be annoying. Glad to see at least one of us has found her purpose in life. I'm serious. For someone so prone to overthinking everything, that was a rather rash decision. Do you even know if there's a cure for your condition? Why fix something that isn't broken? I feel better about myself now, even if I'm not an expert at everything yet. I've only been a vampire for a few days after all. You've been a witch your entire life, and you still haven't found a cure for your own condition. I may remain a child forever, but at least I can still go out by day without a risk of burning to death in the sun. I can do that too, once I figure out how to properly make that sunlight reversal cocktail. But until then, mum's working on something else that will help me. What are you doing with this pile of crap? I'm repurposing it. Soon I will be able to darken the sky with the clouds emitted by this machine, so your brother won't have to fear the sun any longer, and I'll have the means to create a scary stage for my rise to world domination. 
Well, forgotten hollow domination for starters. Sounds like it's going to require a lot of power in the long run. How are you planning on making this work without causing an outage in the entire district? So what if I do cause a power outage? That will only scare people even more. Win-win. Or you could just get one of those special batteries from Caster's Alley. I haven't set a foot in the magic realm in over a decade, and for good reason. I don't need any magic for this. Damn it. Well, good luck then. I'll be upstairs playing a video game, and if it shuts down for no reason, I'll know who to blame. Non-believers. Can't wait to see their faces when they have to admit that I'm the greatest mechanic in town. <laughs> Mum. Oops. Are you sure about this? Mum certainly doesn't want us to travel to the magic realm. Mum also didn't want you to become a vampire, but you didn't ask her opinion on that. Make up your bloody mind, you can't be the good son and the rebel at the same time. I'm just not sure what to expect after all these years. There were rumors about a great threat to the magic realm shortly before Dad disappeared, and we haven't visited it since. What if nothing is even there anymore, and this portal leads straight into the void? Then I'll hop on my broom, you turn yourself into a bat, and we get out of there. Come on. See, the realm is still there, and so are we. This way, I'm getting mum that battery, whether she wants it or not. What's the thing floating around that witch's head? Looks like a raven to me. Or is it a crow? I can see that, but why? I don't know, for protection maybe. Seems like quite a few people need protection these days. Good for them, I only need a battery. And I think I know where to find one. Please Pompilu, you're the only one who can help me. I need a new familiar, but they won't sell me one. Perhaps you could put in a good word for me? Didn't you already buy three this month? What happened to the fairy from last week? Dead. And the butterfly? Also dead. By Mother Moon, Noel. What are you doing to those poor creatures? No wonder they're not giving you any more. Excuse me, what is a familiar? A magical pet of sorts that helps with all kinds of things. Almost every witch, or at least every family of witches has one. If you'd like to get one for yourself, go to the stall over there. Seriously? Why are you helping a stranger, but not me? Maybe because that stranger is not a famous familiar serial killer. And you're a terrible friend. I'll tell everybody that you were kidnapped and impregnated by aliens. Go ahead, because everybody already knows that. Hey, I got the battery, let's go. Wait. Willy, those floating creatures are called familiars, and they're apparently very common in the magic community. How come our family doesn't have one? Mum never cared much about the conventions of the magic community. Maybe she should, because I hear they're incredibly useful. What's wrong, bitch? You're looking sad today. How can you tell? I'm a dog, I can't speak, my ability to emote through facial expressions is limited, and lying in my bed has always been my favorite hobby, even back in the good old days when my bed was still in the living room, where it belongs. So unless it's finally dawning on you what a horrible thing you've done, what gives you the idea that I'm sad? Well, since you don't have anything better to do, how about I give you a little task to take your mind off things? Hello? Can't you see that I'm busy feeling sorry for myself and trying to ignore you? In what alternate universe does that not count as having something to do? You know your way around all six districts of Windenburg. Seven. Oh, never mind. We'll become eight our own candy in chemistry class today, but left it at school. And now you want me to go fetch it, like I'm some kind of delivery bitch? Oh wait, I forgot. I am a delivery bitch. I'm your familiar after all, and I have to do whatever you ask. Never mind that it would take you a lot less time to fly to Newcrest on your broom than it will take me to run all the way there. Be a good bitch and get it for us, will you? It's in her locker, the combination is her birthday. 
Why do I get the feeling that you just want me out of the house? What are you going to do when I'm gone? Move the house somewhere else, so you'll be rid of me for good? I wouldn't put it past you after you already moved my bed. Let's go then. Of all the Windenburg districts, Newcrest is the farthest away from Forgotten Hollow. Then why does the young mistress go to a school there of all places, you may wonder. Well, because she's already been to most of the other schools throughout her never-ending childhood, and I can't blame her for needing a change every once in a while. And since we're already headed there anyway, I might as well give you a tour. The countryside makes tourists wonder if they've accidentally traveled back in time, because most of the buildings here were built centuries ago. The biggest is Croft Manor, owned by some archaeologist who's apparently very famous thanks to a series of video games he starred in. Then there's Crumplebottom Manor, where my older mistress used to live when she was young. You know, millions of years ago, because I swear there's a dinosaur in the background of one of her baby photos. The funny thing is, the farther south you go in Windenburg, the newer the buildings get. We're still not quite in the 21st century though, since this district is the old town, home to the mayor and city hall. The house at the end of the street belongs to the vampire who turned my master, and apart from numerous ancient residents who have somehow escaped mummification for the longest time, there's not much to see here. Moving on to the commercial district. Over there you have Crumplebottom Bank, which should finally be renamed to Landgrab Bank if you ask me, there's also a nightclub for people who like to pretend they can dance, and that park, which is really a front for the Barani family home, a high-tech bunker just underneath. These people are so in love with technology that even their dog Sirius is a robot. He tried to hit on me a few times, but I'm not interested. Last but not least, this is Newcrest, fittingly named for being the newest addition to the town, albeit not the most modern one. If you're still awake and capable of counting, you'll notice that I only showed you five of the six known districts, the sixth being a crumbling island fittingly called Crumbling Isle. Whoever came up with that must have been kissed by the same muse that prompted my family to call a female dog bitch. I would fire her if I was whoever those muses work for. Rumor has it, unruly students of Newcrest Secondary School are taken to one of the trailers across the street to be tortured until they're willing to follow the rules again. Now everyone is afraid of that trailer park, except the young mistress who spread that rumor in the first place so she can keep making up long forgotten school rules for other students to follow. I wonder if those sweets she made are part of yet another plan to troll her classmates. But for now I just need to find them. Why is Mrs. Clem so mean? That is way too much homework for one day. Don't you live right next to her? You could collect some dog shit and throw it at her windows to show how much we hate her. Seems a little radical. Besides, I'd have to touch the shit myself before I could throw it, and that would be so disgusting. What is that? Since when do they allow dogs in this building? Especially one that looks like straight out of the ghost train. <laughs> they allow children in this building. How much worse could I possibly be? We should tell the secretary about this when she comes back. Yeah, but first we're going to scare that thing into shitting itself, and then we can collect its feces for Mrs. Clam's window. How does that sound? Not so great, to be honest. Don't come any closer, you brats, or else... Or else... I will run away. After it. Are you still mad at us, Mum? We did you a favor, and the rest of Forgotten Hollow as well. You caused three district-wide power outages within two hours, when just one battery could have solved your problems before they even arose. And we provided you with that battery. But you traveled to the magic realm against my will to do so. And that battery wasn't even the only thing you brought back from there. I can't believe it, a living breathing floating veiled. I'm much older than I look, yet I never imagined some void critters were actually real. I'm only a few days old and I can already tell you're dumb as fuck. And it clearly takes after me. I'm flattered. After hearing so much about pet familiars, we just found it weird that our family didn't have one. Aren't my bees good enough for you? They're just ordinary bees. According to a ghost at Caster's Alley, real familiars can reach up to human level intelligence. You can send them out to collect ingredients for potions and rituals, and last but not least, they help owners hone their magical skills, which is something I could really use right now. Well if you wanted a familiar so bad, you could have just told me. There are ways of acquiring them without buying anything from the magic realm. There are. Are we really going to go through with this? 
How do you think the magic realm gets its familiars? It's not like they live in the open countryside, waiting to be caught and sold to witches. Most of them are manufactured, in a way, just like wands and brooms, except familiars have souls. So all we need to do is summon a soul, and get it to slip into this vessel. But this so-called vessel is just a poorly stitched together toy. One that I used as a voodoo doll to keep the Quellman's dog out of my garden back when it was still alive, but it will do the job. You'll see. How is the wishing well supposed to help? We're not usually allowed in here. And you won't be anymore once we're done here, so don't get too comfortable. Did it work? Looks like it. Hi, my name is Tiamo. What's yours? Ouch. What a bitch. What was that all about? Was that supposed to happen? It's nothing. They just need a little while to get used to a new environment sometimes. <laughs> It's attacking the entire district. How do we stop this? By subduing it. And here you thought my bees were useless. Move along everybody, nothing to see here. Just a living voodoo doll that got a little bit out of control. I'll take it from here. So this is our familiar from now on. Will it always be this aggressive? No clue. At least my veiled only attacks people with its foul mouth. We should be careful not to provoke it, or who knows what might happen. So, are you shitting yourself yet? Come on, just a little pile, then we'll let you go. Maybe. Sure, just keep coming closer, and I'll give you a pile of guts and bones that smells like you. Beryl, this is too much. I thought you liked dogs. I like real dogs, but this isn't one. Just look at it. Have you ever seen a real dog that was so hideous? My sister says hideous things have no place in this world. You know, my family prohibited me from eating humans, but technically not from biting off a limb or two, so... Enough. What the hell do you think you're doing? David? Aunt Elise. It wasn't my idea, I swear. Does it matter whose idea it was? We're doing the world a favor by ridding it of this abomination. This so-called abomination happens to belong to someone I know, and you too David. It's Will because dog. She showed us a picture when she visited us the other day, remember? I thought that thing in the picture was a toy. Will Beka visited you at home? And this is her dog? I knew there was something wrong with that girl from the day she transferred to our school, but who would have thought the truth was this ugly? There's two kinds of ugliness barrel, and you are a distinguished expert in one of them. Hey, you can't say that to me. I believe I just did. David, we are going home, you have some explaining to do. Dog, come on, I'm taking you home too. There's enough space in the car. I guess this is one of those situations where I should refuse getting into a car with a stranger, but what's the worst that can happen to a creature that nobody wants anyway? I have to say, Forgotten Hollow really is as creepy as Wilbika made it out to be. That's nothing. Wait until you hear the horror story of the moving bed. I see someone in this family is keeping bees. What is that strange machine over there? You wouldn't believe it if I told you. Well, first of all you wouldn't even hear me because I don't speak human, but then you wouldn't believe it. Dr. Donovan, what brings you here? Wow, bitch, you came back fast. Thank you for bringing me my candy, I couldn't possibly have survived until tomorrow without it. Oh, you're welcome, no trouble at all. I ran into your dog at school while some kids were harassing it. Are those kids still alive? I wouldn't worry too much about bitch. She knows how to take care of herself. Knows, yes, but isn't allowed to. I have to go, my family is waiting. Feel free to come over again soon. I will. Thank you for bringing bitch home. 
That hypocrisy. How have you been? I'm sorry we made you run all the way to Newcrest, but we had to get you out of the house for a while, because... Because you're sick of me? Yeah, I figured as much. Surprise! Surprise. What? Happy third birthday, bitch. I know, the anniversary of the day we created you is technically next week, but with only a three-year warranty on homemade pet familiars, we weren't sure if you were going to make it until then. So we ordered a special kind of treat originally made by vampires to prolong the lifespans of their mortal friends and family, and refined by witches to make it suitable for pet familiars. I had to bite some ass of vampires on to speed up the delivery, but here it is. And the sweets you just brought home from my school? Those are also for you, human flavored dog biscuits, so you can enjoy the taste of human flesh without having to kill anyone. Just don't ask how she made them. Shut up. What a successful surprise. I didn't even know when my birthday was. In a week, that will be the 3rd of March. Wait, so I'm a Pisces? Sorry we didn't celebrate your birthday for the last two years. We wanted to, but for some reason nobody ever thought of it. Well how would you remember anything? You're a Gemini. What's everyone else's excuse? If it makes you feel any better, they also nearly forgot mine, last year. But you're the last Sagittarius. Your birthday is so close to Christmas, how can you even tell whether the presents you got were for one occasion or the other? And there's always been one present less for the last 20 years since Lorenzo left. Didn't you say at one point that your husband disappeared on Valentine's Day 2005? That makes 15 years, not 20. Seriously, you think a Virgo would be better at maths than this? So, do you like your presents? Can't tell until I try the main attraction. Now, if you'll excuse me. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, bitch. Shake. Good girl. See? All it takes is a little training to tame even the wildest pet familiar. She's a lot less aggressive today than she was a week ago, but honestly, I'm not so sure I like this direction. She has certainly helped me gain more control over my vampire powers, as a good familiar should. Yep, I can see that in your eyes. Literally. So what are we going to name her? We can't keep calling her dog, or bitch, or don't eat that, forever. Why not? There's no law against it. You mean other than common decency? I don't even know what that means. Ouch. Hey. Bitch. So bitch it is, then. Because the bitch is alive, and life is a bitch.